insects get very annoying at some points of the year. Rain or shine, they are always there. And although they may seem harmless, insects are responsible for big epidemics. Dengue, Zika, and chikungunya are some of the diseases transmitted by insect bites. We know that there are many ways of getting rid of these annoyances, but some are very easy and accessible. You don't even need to buy insecticides or chemical products to keep insects away, and the recipe we will show you now is proof of that. So, if you want to keep insects away from your house and keep your family safe, why not make a homemade repellent with castor bean? Castor bean is rich in nitrogen, calcium, phosphorus, and micronutrients, and these nutrients make castor bean a good plant fertilizer. See how to make this recipe. You will need 5 castor bean leaves. You can find them in empty lots and woods. 34 ounces of water. 1 coffee spoon of neutral dish soap. Cut the leaves into small pieces to make them easier to grind. Add the water and leaves to a blender, then blend until it becomes a juice. Next, pour the solution into a plastic bottle and close, careful to not tighten the lid. Leave it loose to allow airflow. Keep the bottle in a dark place for three days to start the fermentation process. After that, strain the solution to prevent the leaves from clogging the spray nozzle. You can use a piece of cloth or even an old sock. Now let's prepare the solution to apply to your plants. Dilute 3.5 ounces of the solution in 17 ounces of water. Then add the dish soap. It will help the repellent stick to the leaves. Important, every time you dilute the solution, you will need to add another spoon of dish soap. Pour the diluted solution into a spray bottle and generously apply it over your plants. Do it on the leaves, fruits, and stems. This solution won't eliminate all insects, but it is efficient against worms, aphids, cochineal, whiteflies, leaf miners, and ants. So, did you like this recipe? Did you know how to make homemade insect repellents? Try it and share your opinion with us. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.